In this video I'll be working through question one of the OCR depth in physics practice paper. Question one is all about moments and I filled in the definitions that uh, were asked for in the question rather than go through those now. It makes sense to just have those ready and I'll focus on the problem solving aspects of the question. So A part one asks us to define the moment of force about point which is force multiplied by the perpendicular distance uh, to the pivot. And uh, question two asks us to state the principle of moments for a system in the equilibrium. For that, we need to write that the sum of the clockwise moments about an axis is equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moments about the same axis, or the sum of the anti-clockwise moments about a point equal to the sum of the clockwise moments and so on. So those are the first few questions. For part B, we're looking at this crane here with the arm A, C and D marked on it. That's at 30 degrees to the horizontal. It's six meters in total length. It's got a mass of 1800 kilograms and the center of mass is at D, which means that the weight acts through that point there. That's held up by this cable from B to C. And uh, the, the arm, as it's raised or lowered, it rotates about point A. The arm is in equilibrium, so we need to then, we're then asked to draw and label three arrows on the figure to represent the three forces acting on the arm. Let's draw those on. We've got the weight, that's the first thing to start off with, we know we've definitely got that. We have a cable here, so that's the tension force pulling the arm towards B. And the third force is a normal reaction at A, so the, the crane body is pushing the arm away from itself, and that will act where T and W intersect so that they form a closed loop of forces. So that would be roughly for this point here. So you could label that N or R. It is important that you appreciate the question asks you to label the forces, so it's no good just drawing the forces, we need to give them a label as well. So I've called mine W, T and N. Now using the data of the question, we need to calculate the tension in the cable BC. <coughs> We're going to do that by using moments, using the principle of moments in fact, which we stated above. We will take moments about A. The reason for that is that this unknown force N acts exactly through A and that means it provides no moment around it because uh, the perpendicular distance between the line of action of N and A is zero. So no moment provided by N. That leaves us with W and T. T provides an anti-clockwise moment. It wants the arm to rotate this way around A and W provides a clockwise moment. So let's write down uh, with the anti-clockwise moments on the left hand side of the equation and the clockwise moment on the right hand side. Uh, the mass is 1800 kilograms, so that's 1800 times G, which is 9.8. So we can use that. And, oh yes, the distances. <coughs> the, the arm is at an angle of 30 degrees. So the perpendicular distance between the line of action of T and this point here is the opposite of this right angle triangle that we have here. So that would be uh, 6 is the total distance, so 6 multiplied by sine 30 to give us that. So I could write that one actually in the, in the green. If I call that, that's uh, 6 sine 30. And let's work out this perpendicular, this horizontal distance here whilst we're at it. That will be, I only want to go to W though. So that's, that smaller triangle has a hypotenuse of 3 metres. So this distance here will be 3 cos 30. Three was thirty. So now I can go down here and do what, write my working. 
the first one, the anticlockwise is t times 6 sine 30. The clockwise force is w times 3 cos 30. Now I need to substitute my values in. Uh, well actually I'll rearrange first, so now t will be equal to w times 3 cos 30 over 6 sine 30. I know that sine 30 is a half, so that's going to be 6 times half is 3, so that's going to cancel that out. So it would be 1800 plus 9.8 multiplied by cos 30. That comes out as 15,276 newtons. So that in the unit is kilonewtons. So when I'm going to say that as 15 kilonewtons, or you could say 15.3. I'm using 15 because uh, the data. <coughs> These distances here were given to me in two significant figures. The mass was given, was it ambiguous actually? 1800 could be 2. I think it's probably 2. It could be 3 or it could be 4. It's not really clear uh, unless it was written in standard form. So I'm going to assume that the minimum, well, the minimum significant figures is certainly 2 from the distances. So I've stated that to two but you can state it's two or three in that case you can always add one so that's question one b now we're on to c the arm is rotated about a by shortening cable bc that makes the cable no longer horizontal explain whether the tension in the cable has increased or decreased let's take a look at that diagram again the cable is pulled towards b making this length shorter that raises up the arm, so actually the cable will be up there. Um, what does that do to the tension? Okay, as this rotates, a couple of things are going to happen. Uh, the weight is going to start acting towards a point that's closer to A, meaning that the moment pro produced by the weight will decrease. So we can write that down first. The moment about A due to the weight will decrease as the lever arm has decreased. Lever arm meaning the perpendicular distance between the weight and A. And all, then also as this goes up, the tension will actually, the horizontal component of the tension anyway, will be acting at a, from a higher height to be acting up here. So the lever arm of the tension will increase, although only a component will be um, acting, producing the moment. So it's hard to know whether that, the fact that it's a component will actually negate this, but nonetheless, we'll write that down. Uh, the, the perpendicular distance between T and A will increase, which will therefore increase its moment. That will mean that the tension can decrease for, for both of these causes, uh, both of these effects. Because there's less moment to provide to counter the weight and it's got a bigger lever arm, that means that the tension will decrease. Those are our three points there, achieving us the three marks. And that's question one.